In this lesson, working on paper, I'm going to start by doing some collage elements in the background. I have some text here from a dictionary and some origami paper. And I like using black and white rather than adding a lot of color and then leaving the color for the actual pigmented wax. So I'm first going to apply down some of this collage elements. We're going to use the soft gel matte to glue this down and we want to use matte not gloss so that there is good adhesion and we're not allowing the cold wax medium to repel from a glossy surface. So a soft gel matte, uh, I like uh, the soft gel because it is a little softer than regular gel and you could also try fluid so it depends on the paper you're putting down. Let me get started here with finding some shapes. I'm not going to think too much about this because a lot of it's going to be covered up anyway. So it's just a way to get started and I'm going to put a little bit on top of it too. So I have two different patterns of black and white here. Just make sure that you've got a good adhesion there. So even though I know I'm going to cover a lot of this, I'm still thinking about composition as I'm putting this down. So I'm getting some wrinkles happening here too in the paper, but I'm okay with that. It's just going to add a little bit of texture. I'm also wanting to do different size uh, shapes of paper as well. And then let's go ahead and put a little bit of text in somewhere. Now you can certainly, you could use uh, tissue paper, you could stamp on the background here, you could do a lot of different things with this. Another thing you can do to activate your surface is add some line work with some type of a pencil. This is just a china marker. Again, a lot of this is going to be covered up, but it just gives something underneath. So you could also use some charcoal graphite stick or a charcoal. That will work too. For best adhesion, coat with clear gesso before continuing. I've got some lime green, some orange, and some blue along with some white. So let's get started and see what we can do. So I'm going to start with the green. No special reason why. Again, this is the oil paint mixed with about 50-50 cold wax. And you can see that this green is fairly transparent. So I'm just going to apply it over my whole surface. You can still see the black showing through. Clean off that. Next I'm going to add some of the blue paint. And this I won't put everywhere, just in a few places. Kind of matches the tape around the edges. How awesome is that? Do a little bit of blending here.
And so while this is still wet, I can still go back in and make some marks and reveal some of that paper even more than it is. I'm going to mix up a, a neutral or a lighter value color here. Let's put this over top so that you can see. So I'm going to take some blue, put some white in it, tone it down. Wow, that's a strong blue. So I'm going to add a little more white. And just to neutralize it a bit, I'm going to put some orange, the opposite end. So that kind of makes it a more gray-like tone. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of this in, in a couple places. And now add some of the orange. You have to have a really light touch for doing this so that you don't pull up a lot of the under color. I did a little bit there so that kind of mixed it. And I'm going to go back and add a little more blue with my palette knife. So I haven't covered everything. But I'm working on it, it seems. And then I'm going to go ahead and scratch back into it in places. So now seems to be a good time to do that. Let me start by making some line. It's a bit of a grid. Make some marks in there. Use one of these other tools, the catalyst tool, and maybe scrape some big pieces in there. I'm getting some of that. So that's kind of cool that it's revealing some of the black from underneath. Got a lot of paint on there. <laughs> Put it on quite thick in this one. Okay, so, so you can see uh, a lot of the black isn't showing, but what is, it kind of gives that a little bit of interest and repetition underneath. So I'm going to just look this over for a bit of balance, and I'm thinking I've got orange, oops, coming across here. I need a little bit of orange down in this area. This is a nasty palette knife. It's got a bent tip on it. That needs to be thrown out. So let's use this one. So 
so it's always hard to tell when you've got the, the tape on. Um, but I'm also looking for where to put a focal point. Right now my eye is going up along there. I'm not sure I, I want that. I might change that up a bit. But I'm going to mix something that's lighter. Maybe just to go right in this area. And it is very easy to make brown. <laughs> fill those back in again just because I don't really want want your eye going up towards that area as much so you have to be really careful that you don't end up making mud it's really easy it just happens when you mix opposites together so I have blue and orange in here, so really easy to get something muddy. Just put a little bit of this down. Well, we're ready now to take off the tape and see what this looks like. So I'm going to start by gently lifting this corner. Okay, so there we have the finished piece. And again, I might go back in and do a little revisions on this. It always looks different when you get the uh, tape off, but not saying that it's, it's completely wonderful and balanced. Thanks for watching, and please, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I would love to hear from you.